Does soundproof paint really work? Some soundproofing methods that involves opening up your walls or even adding mass-loaded vinyl to your walls or ceilings might sound tiring. Adding a soundproof paint to your wall is fun and easy to do the method of soundproofing that might seem convenient for you. There has been a lot of questions surrounding the effectiveness of soundproof paint. Some people wonder if sound insulating paint would block out the noise they have been hearing. If you are here, the chances are that you have finally decided to find a solution from the disturbing noises from your surrounding environment. You have been looking for an easy to do and inexpensive method, and you stumbled upon soundproofing paints as an option. You have encountered myths about these paints from your friends or family, and you are looking for the validation to what you have heard. Let's talk about it. Before we go any further, don't forget to subscribe for more videos about soundproofing, without further ado, let's jump straight to it. What you should know about soundproofing paint Soundproof paint should only be used when you wish to block the not too loud noises such as neighbors talking or movements. It will not dampen the high frequency noises like those from your neighbors loud music, dogs barking, planes passing by or even outside traffic. For the high frequency noises, you should use more effective noise dampening methods like acoustic foam, soundproof curtains, thick acoustic blankets or room dividers. Using these paints is a great and fun way to redecorate your house. You get to soundproof and at the same time get a new look for your home. Unfortunately, unlike the other regular paints, soundproof paints do not come in varieties of colors, and you will have to settle for those available. Soundproof paints are mostly water-based just like regular paints, but they are packed with latex. Latex is environmentally friendly since it's tapped from natural trees. It's not toxic and dries out fast. It will also help in sound insulation when added to paint. You will also need to paint extra layers of soundproofing paints for it to be as effective as you would want it to be. You will need to apply more than three coats for it to work well. Soundproofing paints can be used on any surface on your home just like the regular paints. You do not need colors for the whole house too. You can use the paint on the part of the wall that needs soundproofing the most and use the more regular paints on your other partitions. If your walls have flaws, soundproof paints will add texture to your walls because you will require more layers than your regular paint. Besides, soundproof paints are chunky making it easy to hide the cracks on your walls. The benefits of using sound insulating paints apart from soundproofing your house, soundproofing paints have other benefits they act as thermal insulators. When applying any soundproofing method to your home, the thickness is a significant factor to consider. Soundproofing paints too are made of thick material, and you also need to add layers. You will be able to notice the difference in temperature. It will prevent the penetration of heat during summer and contain heat in your room during winters. How does a soundproofing paint dampen noise even though soundproof paints are water-based, they are heavy-bodied and have ceramic microspheres coupled with soundproofing fillers that increase the sound-absorbing ability. They prevent sound from bouncing around your room or space easily. The soundproofing market is flooding with different paints, and it might not be attractive to play the trial and error games. Getting acoustical paints will save you from the trouble. Acoustical paint fights the noise by absorbing it. It will absorb the sounds such as echoes from your room and also from the neighbor's side. It provides a soft and thick surface that will prevent the noise from bouncing. How to apply a sound absorbing paint. How to get the best out of soundproof paints To get the best results out of soundproof paints, you will need to get creative. As mentioned earlier, you should apply as many layers as you find suitable depending on the amount of noise you would wish to block. Apply more paint on the side of the wall that lets in more sound. Alternatively, after painting the wall, you can add a bookshelf or a vent moving some of your furniture towards that wall to add further to your noise blocking efforts. Before painting the wall, make sure you seal holes or cracks. Green glue that also has soundproofing properties will be the most effective option for you.